Uh, hello everyone, today we're gonna be working on a PvE tier list. Uh, recently we made a PvP uh, combat tier list and a lot of people were asking for a PvE one uh, for 3.19.1. So here we have Pigeon, uh, one of the best pilots in the game. Hello. Hello. And let's start, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so... For this PvE tier list uh, in 3.19, they've changed the VHRTs and ERTs and added other claimers and different kinds of ships. Um, and they adjusted the shield health and HP of the ships as well. Um, and it feels like the gunners hit more shots as well, while also desyncing, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Mm -hmm. um, so I think... I think, and from our testing, multi-crew and bigger ships are the way to go now for VHRTs and ERTs. But from ERTs, e, uh, HRTs and down, it's pretty light fighter meta still. Um, but VHRTs and up, it's heavy ships and multi-crew for sure. Uh, so we can get right into the D tier. And... Uh, Obviously, it's going to be the snubs, um, because no quantum drive, and they take a lot of effort to get out there. Um, but if they did have quantum drives and you do do carrier ops, they are pretty good and viable. Yeah, I have seen um, a lot of I, people use them early. It is good yeah. when you have something to carry it, but that takes a long time. Yeah. Yep. Um, then we have the Mantis. I just, I'm not a fan. Like what? Bounty hunting? Cool. PvE bounties? Not really. Three size guns. Sure, you can do all the way up to EH or HRTs with them, um, but anything past that and even HRTs for less experienced players will be really hard. Mm -hmm. um, the N50 and the Razor I will put higher though, because they are smaller, they still have a quantum drive. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good spot for them. Yeah. I agree. Yes. Uh, another D tier will be the cutter. Um, I don't really think I need to say more on that. Um, <laughs> a lot of people well, like it, so. I mean, it's a nice ship. I <laughs> for bounty hunting, I don't know. It is a nice ship. Mhm. Mm um. Why not though? Uh. Uh. It just i don't know it's it doesn't fly too well from my experience mm -hmm. it's a tanky um, right it is tanky though yeah but mm -hmm. yeah i don't think it's better than the other ships coming up so um okay. and we have the 100 eyes mm -hmm. which is a starter ship two guns um but it is pretty agile pretty small so you can do some work with it and here might be the first controversial one uh, a lot of people will hate on. It's the 400i. <laughs> Why are you bounty hunting in this? Or PvE bounty hunting. Why? It has the same DPS as a Talon. And it's massive. So, I don't... Like, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Not very fun. Flies like a boat. <laughs> it does. <laughs> yes. It looks like a boat too, that's what's wild. Mm -hmm. Um, Harold, actually not bad. Oh, um, stop. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, assuming you're doing HRTs and below, um, not bad. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, has a quantum drive. Yeah, it's really not bad. 85X. This can be pretty fun. Um,. You can fit two people DPS inside. As well. Yeah, yeah. So you can do some multi-crew there. <laughs> um, quantum drive, good guns, pretty agile. It's a pretty good fighter. Um, just considering the VHRTs and ERTs, it's D tier, sadly, and a lot of single ship fighters will be D tier just because of that. But all the way up to, like I said before, all the way up to HRTs, these can all be considered like a and B tier, um, mm -hmm. but this is taking in effect the new changes to the bounty system. 
Um, then we have the Pisces. I actually love the Pisces. Um, it's a little squishy when the shields are down. You'll pop immediately. But, I don't know. I just love flying it. It's, uh... It has a special place in my heart. Yeah. Um... But yeah, this tier is mainly all the starships, so we have the Aurora. Um, to be we'll put fair... Wait, wait, wait. Titan. Wait, uh, to be fair, I did, um... I did a lot of bounties with the Pisces. It's not that bad. No, it's not. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Why um, not C? Why not C? Well, because, uh, V8... You'll see as we put more ships. Um, I don't think they deserve to be, um, any higher. So, then we have the Aurora, which, in my opinion, these four are all on the same level. They're interchangeable. DPS is pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Um, so, they all have Quantum Drive, same shields, so. Yep. Uh, then you have the Titan and the 300i, which are pretty much the same. Just, I like the Titan more, you have space, but 300i, it's more luxury, it's pretty good. So, they have the same weapons, um, I think the, yeah, 300i has more missiles, could be wrong. I don't remember, I don't use missiles, so. But, from my experience, they perform exactly the same. Um, I will put the Titan at the very end of C. The very end of C? Mm-hmm. Why not the 300i then? They're pretty much the same. Mm. Okay, fine. I, it does have... Yeah, slightly higher DPS than the starter ships, all of these. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's valid. They're really not that bad. Um, so, that brings us into C tier. Uh, this one might get some hate. The Prowler. <laughs> um has really seen better days um, <laughs> it flies really really badly um, it looks cool though it looks amazing especially uh, when yeah. you land it uh -huh. it looks yes, great it looks amazing <laughs> um i th last i flew it it feels like it flies like a redeemer um <laughs> i don't know why Oof. Uh, but that is very yikes. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that's why it's there. Um, but it used to be really good. Sadly, it's, uh, seen better days. Then we have the Freelancer Miss, um, which a lot of missiles. Uh, and this, like, um, this kind of, I picked the best out of the series, so, like, uh, the best out of the Freelancers, um, what's another thing? The best out of the Connie, the best out of the Vanguard. Um, they're all pretty interchangeable, um, they will be roughly around the same rating anyway, so I just figured, well, why not, instead of rating all the different cutties and freelancers and sentinels, they're all pretty much the same. I actually, I, I started the game, I started playing the game with the Mustang Alpha, and then after that, uh, one of my friends who got me into Star Citizen, I, I think he gave me like 300k, or I don't remember how much... Uh, and the freelancer is with the UEC but he gave me money because I was trying to play with another friend and we wanted to be in the same ship uh, so I was like what is the best ship for like uh, for me to play with my friends so we can be in the same ship and just go do missions together and he told me this uh, he sent me some AUEC and that was like my second ship I got it uh, in game and I was so excited like I want to buy it I was like so so excited and I bought it and I was like oh my god now I have the best ship ever and I played <laughs> with the freelancer for a long time little did I know that there are way better ships <laughs> out there <laughs> uh, you know what's funny is I kind of have a similar story uh, when I first started I was a space <laughs> trucker um, and I was experimenting with Urkel and like looking at different damage output with different ships um, and I was like, well, the Freelancer has similar DPS to these ships, so it must be good. And it has a lot more missiles. <laughs> so I was looking on, like, uh, the, what is it, Star Hanger or whatever, uh -huh. uh, to try to get it. I never got it, but, uh, and I glad it, gladly I didn't, because uh, 
<laughs> it was definitely not the best ship. Um, but yeah, I did think it was the best ship. I was like, well, st <laughs> stat-wise, this thing's pretty good. <laughs> I, I watched the trailer on YouTube of that ship, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. It has three guns, and blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't remember how many guns it has, but like, uh, like... I remember like being so excited from watching the trailer and I was like, this is honestly the best ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. It's really not bad. You get a turret, multi-crew, a lot, a little bit more DPS, not a lot. Um, mm -hmm. And it's not bad. It's not bad for bounty hunting. And so it's, get C tier. It's not that expensive with AOEC if you buy yes. it in game. Yep. Uh, so now we have the car to all, and this one I'm pretty hesitant. Um, I think I'm gonna sit with my bias of single fighters or single seat ships and put it ahead of the freelancer. Um, but it might be below it. But uh, yeah, let's go with my bias. Yep, I'm biased towards a car to all. I love the thing. Yeah, it's uh, awesome. <laughs> yep. Um, obviously, size four guns, not the best. Uh, yeah, really good G's, two size, two shields. Yeah, yep, yep. I think it goes deserves there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like contemplating. Yes, yeah. Uh, okay, then we have the gladiator, torps, missiles. If they connect, cool beans. Um, it has two size threes and then a turret with I think two size threes as well. So yes, um, DPS is pretty good. Uh, it is a very tanky ship. Um, solo, it would probably be D tier. Yes, definitely be D tier. Uh, but multi crew, it is C tier with that turret. It's pretty good. Um, it doesn't fly too bad in atmosphere. It's kind of yikes. Um, it whips around a lot. But um, if you stay below uh, SCM, it's pretty good in atmosphere. Uh, but yeah, with the turret, I think it's C tier. It's pretty decent. Um, so let's move into the ten. Um, oh, I don't a like lot of that ship. I, <laughs> I, it kind of grows on me. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> a lot of DPS. Well, not a lot, but uh, more than the Gladiator, at least. Um, so I put it there. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun to fly at times. Um, what when you? And I have straight? the most. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have the most experience in it, but I find it pretty successful when I do use it, so mm -hmm. I'll put it in C tier. And C tier will be a lot of the single fighters, um, the meta single fighters, so we'll have the Gladius. What? C? Yes. My beautiful Gladius? Yes, because it, it sucks for VHRTs and up. It'll take forever oh. killing. So let's put the arrow and then we can talk about why I put the arrow above the Gladius. Um, you have one less shield in the arrow, sure. Uh, it is smaller and it flies better in atmosphere. In atmosphere, I find turrets hitting me way more. Um, so in the Gladius, you know, for experienced players, you know, you can really interchange these, but for less experienced, I think you'll get more success in the arrow. It's harder to hit. Um, flies better in atmosphere. Slightly higher DPS. Um, so yeah, that's why I put the arrow above the Gladius. For PvE bounties. Um, yeah. Yes, I agree with this. Okay. Then we have the Valkyrie. And I originally had this D tier. Um, I just... I don't. I don't know. It's a amazing looking ship. Mm -hmm. I. I don't know. It just sits in a weird place for me. But multi crew. Um, it's not bad. Um. Did a few with it, and it's not bad. Um, the only concern in Atmo, you're slow. You're a big target, so you can get shredded pretty easily. Um. But usually you can kill things uh, on HRTs and below faster than they can kill you, so... <laughs> yes. Yep. Okay, and now we get to the true, true, true 
controversial things. And we have the Carrick and the 890 in the same tier of C tier. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I just, I don't know. Like, sure, can you do ERTs with them and be successful? Yes, absolutely you can. Um, is it fun with people? Sure. If you put it fun factor, S tier, 100%. But during uh, with effectiveness and trying to farm and get money and be time efficient, it's definitely C tier. Yes. Um, the turrets will all see the same target. You'll have to be kind of very accurate with the nose to get the turrets all on the same target. Uh, so it can be a pain for the pilot. It flies pretty slow. The bonus is you do have really great shields. Um, so you probably won't die. But you will take forever to kill anything, too. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I think it's more effective versus VHRTs and ERTs than it is all the lighter um, missions. But I think they really deserve C tier. It's been fun doing it with people, not very effective for actually grinding. There's a lot better multi crew ships. I'd rather take a Valkyrie. Um, over these ships, I guess. Well, maybe I should do that then. Alright? <gasps> mm -hmm. But, uh... But they look a little better. Yeah, I don't, like, I, I think we have to include the fun factor. Like, yeah. with the group, they're very fun to do with, so... Yeah. I don't know, it depends. These are debatable. Um, I think they deserve to be here, though. Now, we get into B tier, um, and I guess these could go at the end of B tier, but I'll keep in C tier for simplicity, I guess. First fighter, Saber, uh, great in atmosphere, actually, uh, four size threes, um, good shields, um, very fast in atmo, uh, performs really well. Uh, this ship, a lot of people don't like, um, a lot of people do like, and a lot of people don't. It's kind of hit or miss. Um, <laughs> yeah. but I think it's B tier. I think it deserves to be here. It's great in atmo, great in space, um, decent missiles. Yeah, it deserves to be here. The Banu as well, great in atmo. It's really the same, except you can put a faster drive, uh, cause it carries more quantum fuel. So I guess, and you can carry another person if you really want. Um, yes, I love these two ships. They're very fun to use. If you haven't used them in a while and you own them, please use them. You won't regret it. Um, can be difficult for doing VHRTs and ERTs, of course. But just simply because of atmosphere, these B-tier fighters are here because of that. They are great for atmosphere. It looks so really cool, too. Yeah. The cool <laughs> factor. They're all the cool ships. <laughs> <laughs> so then there's a Talon. Uh, in my opinion, the best atmosphere fighter. Uh, it flies really good. Yep. Um, the only contender, I think, is the Fury. Uh, but no quantum drive. So, adios, Fury. Um, yeah, cool. Two size fours, so not as much DPS. Um, so maybe it could be below them, but I'm a little biased towards the Talons, if you guys know me. So, I'm kind of biased towards the Talon. Um, four size fours, yeah, yeah, I like it. Then we have the blade. Um, I don't think it really needs an introduction. More DPS than the Gladius, same shields. I uh, love the blade. Yes, it flies, flies really good in atmosphere. Um, comparable to these, these four. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this probably the best single ship fighter if you're gonna use any. Um, I agree. Yes. Um, so now, the cut lists. All the cutties. The blue is my favorite um, for pirating reasons. Uh, just kidding, we don't pirate, haha. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Cutty blue. He's joking. Same DPS. Same DPS as the Banu and the Saber. Sorry, I'm having brain lag. Uh, but you have a turret. 
and you have a lot of missiles. Uh, in atmosphere, you will get shot more. Uh, but I find it, we kill things faster than they kill us. I haven't died, but you kill things faster than they can kill you in atmosphere. Um, uh, with HRTs and below. But VHRTs and ERTs, I would, yeah, I would take this still. Why B um, and not, not bad, A? Really. Why B? Mm -hmm. Well, because... Um... It's just not effective as the rest that we'll put in. Okay. Um, and like the utility, it's a big target. Um, like we're not doing cargo missions or anything, so we don't really need the space. Like it's not a dedicated fighter to say, so. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Um, I think it's B tier, yes. Uh, and then the next three. I think you can really interchange them. Um, I'm going to put them all and then talk about them. So we have the Buck, the Hawk, and the Hornet. Um, DPS is all comparable. Um, the Buccaneer has a special place in my heart because it looks cool in my opinion. I love the Buck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But really, if you take any of these, you'll perform just as well. Um, I think... The, I was struggling in atmosphere with the hawk a little bit, um, but they all fly very similar. Um, the Hornet right now is obviously above these because I don't know if you guys know, um, but there's a bug with the Hornet right now where you can pull almost the same G's as a car to all uh, while tricording, decoupled. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's that. It is very, very good for PvE, PvP. Um, so yeah can't go wrong with taking either of these three um so yeah let's move on to the reclaimer i was debating putting this in you uh, <laughs> b no way <laughs> <laughs> it has a lot of turrets and you only need like two or three people to man them all so oh uh, and then afterwards if you do vrts and erts you can salvage and make some money, so that's like the only reason why it's up here and not with these two. Um, you can salvage, get some more money. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah, true. Salvaging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kind of yikes. Uh, but if we're talking purely bounty hunting, yeah, it would be next to these. Um, but just because you can salvage, have some fun. With the crew on board, I think it's top of B tier. Um, it has a lot of turrets, a lot of firepower, so... Yes, it's also big, so... That could be a downside, but... I think it belongs here. Um... So, yeah. Let's... Now... Move on to the A tier. Uh, these are the same Ares's. Uh, Inferno, I'm going to say, is below the Ion. Um, Ion has better DPS, of course, but it has limited ammo, as you guys know. Versus the Ion, um, it's laser, so, versus ballistic. Same missiles, same shields, everything. Um, the coolers, the extra coolers and stuff on the Ion don't matter. But yeah, they perform very similar. Uh, for DHRTs and ERTs, I love flying them. They're very fun. Um, yes. Probably the best single ship fighters you can take for VHRTs and ERTs. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll get into that. We'll get into that. They're very fun to fly. I enjoy these too. Yeah, me too. Um, so now we have the Connie, which... It's up here because of multi-crew, obviously. Um, good has really good pilot DPS, really good missiles, good shields, um, and then with the crew you get extra DPS, and then you have some fun factor involved with that. And uh, so yeah, I think the Connie deserves. Yes, it definitely deserves to be up here. Yeah, a um, lot of people fly it. Yes. So I think I should say, from 
A tier, it's more focused, like more specialized for VHRTs and ERTs for maximum like money gain. Um, and then B tier and down is uh, HRTs and below. I feel like I'm a broken record at this point, but uh, okay, let's move on. The Glaive. Now, if you haven't used this, you're gonna be like, what in the heck? But use this and then come back to this video and delete your comment. Uh, Cause I will be looking at all of them. Okay. It is better than the Ion in every way, in my opinion. It pulls more Gs. Um, I think alpha damage it's higher, but sustained DPS it's lower cause it has less capacitors in the Ion. But it's also smaller. So, and then dude, it's an alien ship. Cool factor, okay? I love it's, alien ships and it's alien weak. Yeah. So, if you have the glaive and you haven't used it, please use it. You won't regret it. And uh, if you haven't used it at all, buy it in game and then delete your comment, okay? <laughs> uh, you won't regret it. Okay, and now this one's gonna please a lot of people or annoy them. Uh, the 600i. Yes, mm -hmm. it is up here. Oh, um, nice. A lot of firepower for single pilot. Um, downside, it's big. You'll get shot. Um, potentially die. Uh, flies like a bus. <laughs> but the pilot DPS with cannons, uh, you can really sh shred a lot of the VHRTs and ERTs. Um, so yeah, it's very good. Um, and then we have the Vanguard ships. Now, they've been good for a long time. They still are. Um, they're really good if you take the cannon builds. Um, you'll shred a lot of the ERTs, VRT, VHRTs very fast. If you load it out with lasers, it'll take longer. Um, but cannons, you'll do really good in this. Laser cannons, uh, you'll do really good. And then you have a Gunner as well, and I think the Warden, you get um, upgraded guns on the turret. Uh, so, if you're doing multi-crew, you might want to take the Warden. They prefer very similar. Um, EMP is very strong. Not really in PvE, though. Um, but you can get some extra shield damage with the EMP and power them off to prevent them from shooting you back. Um, so, yeah. The Warden, very fun. Flies kind of sluggish, but not compared to these, so... Um, yes. Wardens, obviously, A tier. Alright, now we move into the S tier. Yes. And we have. Hurricane Scorp. Yes. Hurricane Scorp. I don't think these two need any introduction. Um, they are really good, uh, both in atmosphere and in space. Uh, Hurricane being better in atmosphere, Hurricane having more firepower with extra pilot guns. Um. So yeah, there is always are... a lot of discussion between the hurricane and the scorp, and yes. we have done tests uh, to see which one is better. Um, mm -hmm. But what do you think? PVE Scorpius S tier. It's in this order. PVP we might want to swap it around, but that's up for debate. If you like to run uh, in PVP, anyways. Uh... <laughs> Let's uh, let's stick to PVE. Um, so yeah, PVE high higher damage, same shields, same everything pretty much. Scorpius turns better. Hurricane has higher top speed, but you're not really doing that in PVE. So yes, Scorpius is definitely above the Hurricane for PVE. Um, mm -hmm. Then we have the good old Eclipse. Yep. You know, do I really need to say anything? Three torps, three kills, ta-da. You know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. I don't think this really needs to say anything else. Yeah, this is um, a favorite for PvE people. Yes. Um, now we have the Retaliator. Same thing, extra torps. Uh, but multi-crew, now... You will need a lot more people for multi-crew um, than you'd probably like. So you're better off taking one of the future ships I'll talk, te eh, talk about. But if you're doing it solo, you get extra torps. Um, so yeah, pro I think it's better.
than the Eclipse for extra torps. And if you want to do multi career, it's pretty fun as well. Um, now we get to the Corsair, the king of VHRTs and ARTs for solo pilot DPS. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't know already, it has the highest pilot DPS. It's a Corsair. You lose the engine to ballistics or <laughs> just luck, um, you're gonna spin. Uh, so not a fan, that's the downside. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're experienced, you know what you're doing. Uh, this will definitely be the best ship for doing VHRTs and ERHRTs solo. Um, yeah, I don't really think we need to say anything else on that. Um, it's got cargo if you want to steal weapons as well from the blown up ships. Uh, it's not really worth doing that because uh, fun detected and yep, enough said. <laughs> uh, now we have the hammerhead. Yep. Um, yes, multi crew, really good. A lot of turret DPS. Really, really good. Um, can't go wrong with it. Good size, sh uh, good size shields. Um, yeah. VHRTs, ERGTs, you'll make great work of it. Easy clap. Um, yes. A lot of fun. Multi-crew as well. Uh, a lot of fun. But it is not the king. Because A2... You can get all the guns on target while also firing with the pilot guns. Um, so I found this, the A2, to be way more effective than the Hammerhead. Um, even in killing, even in killing player Hammerheads, the A2 has been king in every way. Um, yes. Yep. A lot of people would be like, what? And the people who have done this and tested it will be like, okay, yeah. He knows what he's talking about. But yeah, A2 is king over the Hammerhead, for sure. Um, but we have the Redeemer. Um, same DPS. Um, loaded with lasers. Uh, and way smaller. Yes. Way smaller, same shields. Uh, less people, too, for multi-crew. So, um, and not accounting the rear turret, because you're probably never going to use that. But, um, yeah. I think that looks pretty good. Yes. And for PvP as well, if you're going up against the Hammerhead, you take a Redeemer, that Hammerhead is going to cry. Uh, they're going to baby a rage in chat, and you're going to get some nice screenshots to send to your org. <laughs> um, yeah. So, the Redeemer, definitely the best multi-crew ship for VHRTs and ERTs. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So, yeah, that's the tier list for 319 with the new updates to the VHRTs and ERTs having... Reclaimers and all kinds of weird stuff now. Um, and better shields and better whole HP and more accurate turrets. So, yes. I think... Let me just look at this again. Yeah, I I think I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah. This looks good to me. Yeah, it does to me too. Thank you yeah. for sharing your wisdom with us. Really appreciate yep. it. And this is a really good tier list, for sure. <laughs> you know, I was about to sell my um, Redeemer, but never mind. I think I'm gonna keep it. Oh yeah, definitely keep it, yeah. yeah. Do VHRT and ERTs, yeah. So. And like, I, all the multi-crew, you have to have the fun factor. You get your org in it, a couple friends. They, it can be a very fun night. Um, and good for money as well, so, yeah. Alright. Multicrew is coming into Star Citizen. That That's is for true. Sure. Yes, that is true. It, it has been yeah. stronger lately. Yeah. 
and stronger it's, and stronger. Yeah, it's really cool to see that because I mean, in the future when we have server meshing, um, I just hope we have big ship battles. You know. Yeah. That will be cool. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I remember the days when I saw Hurricane and I'd laugh, and now that completely did a 180, and now I run away and cry. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah yeah i'm satisfied satisfied with this tier list i think it's good yeah me too thank you so much again and i hope everyone enjoys the video thank you pigeon yep you're welcome all right thanks everyone for watching let us know in the comments if you agree if you disagree um let us know bye yep i will delete all the comments on the glaive um that one you guys cannot talk about no discussing at all it stays there. <laughs> He's joking. <laughs> <laughs>